Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle. You know, at one point we inscribed three identical squares in a circle. This time we're going to be inscribing three squares in a circle, but they're going to be different sizes and they're going to be stacked like this. So, three squares with side lengths 6, 12, and 18 are inscribed in a circle as shown. Find the radius of the circle. All right, cool. At this point, you may just want to pause the video and try this problem yourself first. So, for convenience, I just marked the center of the circle so we can kind of use it effectively. And you know that the center plays an important role because we're going to draw the radii and we're going to be using that information. Okay. Now, let's go on and make some connections. As always, I'm going to connect the center of the circle to one of the vertices down here. And then I will be making a big connection here. Basically, what I would like to do is draw a vertical line that passes through the center so that I can actually associate it with the radii like this. And then what I can do is I can also connect the center to one of the vertices of the smallest circle here. That will also be helpful. Okay, here we go. Awesome. So now, we have to designate some lengths here, obviously, but let's go ahead and do that. So, we do know that this is an 18 by 18 square. So, since this is a midpoint, this would be 9. And since this is the radius of the circle, I would call that R. So this is the center now. Obviously, the bottom of the green square, which is the base, in other words, right, the base uh, is not uh, going through the center, right? In other words, the center is not on the base of the green square. So there is a little bit of distance there. Okay, that's uh, how it works basically for this problem. So let's call that little piece X, okay? You can call that H, you can call that Y, anything you want. Now I know that this is 12, right? And this is 6. Beautiful. Now what happens here is that this is half of 6, which is 3, and I do get a right triangle. But I also get another right triangle here, right? Right, okay. That's another right triangle. So I have two right triangles. What can I do with them? Well, I can do lots of good things. Let's go ahead and change some colors here. So here's one of my right triangles. And here's the other one, okay? So basically those are the triangles that I'll be using to solve this problem and I'm solving for R. But there's another unknown, which is X. So I have to solve for X as well. So, how do we proceed? Let's see what happens from this point on. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write the Pythagorean theorem for both of these triangles. Which one we should start with? Well, let's start with the top one. Okay, for the top triangle, which kind of seems skinnier, right? The height is 6 plus 12 plus x. You got to be very careful here. This point is here therefore you have to consider x in the height so that is going to be 18 plus x right and i'll square that it's one of the legs plus and the base of the triangle is three so that's going to be three squared and the hypotenuse is what the radius of the circle this is why it's important to connect the center of the circle to a point on the circle okay otherwise you're not going to know which length you have. Okay, awesome. We have two variables and one equation. So we need another equation. Let's go ahead and write that down. What is the other equation? It comes from this triangle. Okay, let's go ahead and write that down. The height, what is the height for this triangle? Well, as you know, this is 18, right? But we have to take out that little tiny piece x. So this is going to be 18 minus x, okay? The height of the bottom triangle is going to be 18 minus x. The base is going to be 9. Okay, so what do we write? We write 18 minus x quantity squared, right? Plus 9 squared is equal to r squared. Now, a lot of things you can do here, obviously. You can try to solve for x, like try to get rid of x, but that will be hard to do because you're still going to end up with some x terms. But 
it's easier to solve for x first, so let's get rid of r. In other words, since both of these things are equal to r squared, which means if two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal, right? That principle, whatever you want to call it, transitive property, something else, symmetry, whatever. So let's go ahead and set these two things equal to each other. 18 plus x quantity squared plus 9 is the same as 18 minus x quantity squared plus 81. So one of the things that I can do is I can just go ahead and subtract this guy from here. As you know, we have a very nice identity when we subtract a plus b squared minus a minus b squared. We always get 4ab. Let me write that down one more time. We've used this many, many times in our videos, right? To solve puzzles, we use this technique a lot. Okay, so when you subtract quantities of this form, you get 4ab, which is nice because I know the answer right away. It's going to be 72x. Beautiful. And if I subtract 9 from 81, that's going to be 72. Nice. Wow. That's kind of interesting. x equals 1. Were you expecting that result? No, not really. Well, x is tiny, but if you compare it to 18, right, you're going to realize, yes, it makes sense, right? I mean, 18 is real long. And compared to that, or if you look at the top one, it's 6. Half of that is 3, and x is even one-third of that part. Anyways, so this is correct, x equals 1, but we're not looking for x. What are we looking for? Well, we are looking for the radius, right? It says, find the radius of the circle. So what am I supposed to do? Find the radius. Which equation am I going to use? Does it matter? Nope, it doesn't. Whichever equation you like better, use that one. It doesn't really matter, but let me use the top one because that one seems a little better because of the sizes like 3 squared eh, seems a little more friendly so let's go ahead and plug it into the top one doesn't really matter again same thing but 18 plus 1 is what 19 squared awesome and i know what it is 3 squared is 9 and that should equal r squared what is 19 squared i think you need to know this memorize okay you have to have it memorized because it comes up a lot well it's good to know squares at least all the way up to maybe 25 okay cool 19 squared is 361 so when I add the 9, it becomes what? 370. Okay. Then r squared is equal to 370, from which r equals square root of 370. Now let's go back and take a look at this. What does this number look like? Okay. Let's think about it. 15 squared is 225. 16 squared is 256. 17 squared is 289. 18 squared is 324. 19 squared is 361. What? Did I say now? Well, okay, fine. You probably already know that this is a little larger than 19, right? Because the contribution of 9 is very small compared to 361. Think about that. So this number is close to 19, but obviously it's slightly greater than 19. So maybe 19.2, 19.3, who knows, right? You can use a calculator, but you don't need to. This is fine as a radical. But let's go back and check our work here. Well, we were trying to find the radius, right? And this is about 18. This is 18. So, yep, it's a little larger than that. And it makes sense, right? It's, I mean, it's close to 19, so it makes sense, I think. Okay. Anyways, but can we simplify this? What's the square root of 370? Okay. It is 2 times 185. 185 is 37 times 5. So, it's 2 times 5 times... What? 37? Okay. What is... 185. Yeah, it's 37, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. But look at this. It is 2 times 5 times 37. 37 is prime. 2 is prime. 5 is prime. Good. They're all primes. What does that mean? We don't have any perfect squares, unfortunately. Too bad. But that is the answer. Okay. So the radius of the circle is going to be square root of 370. Can we find the equation of the circle? Yes. Well, if we know any coordinates, by the way, you could also use coordinate geometry, but that's another story. That's the answer. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.